Hello, Rita here with the ramblings of a redheaded power lifter. So, um, I tried the F8 banded shirts today. Uh, we have one here. Um, Marcus has been using it. He's used it a couple times. And um, let's see, what do I think? So, first of all, when they first came out, you know, it was different and having a federation, I kind of had to make a decision about what I thought about it, whether or not to allow it in the federation. Um, I did kind of look to see what other people around me were doing and, um, and I was hesitant at first, you know, um, I think really that any, but change is just hard is what I think. And as I got more comfortable knowing how, um, it, how it worked and, um, there were a couple of different shirts. One of them I still wasn't okay with just because of, um, as you executed the bench, it kind of laid over on itself and made it a little bit too thick in my opinion, you know, kind of like a one or two board to touch to. And, and, um, but the, but you know, it looks like everybody's kind of gotten them sewn down into like a regular shirt and, um, you know, I, I've always been a multi-ply lifter. I've done raw stuff. You know, I've even set raw records, but um, I was always, I started in multiply and that was always my favorite because my thing was I wanted to lift as much as possible. Okay. And, uh, you know, so whether it was the longest knee wraps, the longest wrist wraps, you know, if you've got briefs, you know, if uh, a suit, a shirt, whatever, I didn't care, give it to me because I want to lift as much as I can. And um, you can lift more in this shirt. And, um, really, to be honest, I think that probably, no, not even probably, I think that this, the, you know, this is probably, um, an added, you know, uh, evolution to bench shirts. Um, who knows what's going to happen with like the, the squat suits or whatever, but, um, definitely it's definitely different and easier to use, um, in certain ways. Now there's other things, you know, there's things like, um, uh, so it may be easier to come down and move with, but you got to catch it at the top and you don't have to do that. And, and, you know, the poly shirt. So, you know, there are things that are different about it that, um, I've seen a lot of people using these shirts that seem to, the shirt seems to shoot them up so fast that it goes right through the weight. Like they can't move the weight fast enough for how fast the shirt is pushing them up. You know, so it's so they lose their grip on the bar, um, you know, so there are different things about it. OK, and which is true for any single ply, multi ply, denim, poly. I mean, it, you know, they all have their little nuances. So um, but I personally, as a power lifter, I haven't been able to compete in a long time. My shoulders have worn down and um, it is too painful to to bench and I'll do it every once in a while anyway and I usually just suffer for a couple of weeks for it but whatever it's just what I do so um I was trying it out today and you know I went and I was doing my raw stuff and things felt pretty good but then I hit a wall at 185 and and so I decided to just throw a couple plates on the bar and try the shirt out so um I knew a couple things already. Marcus has been using it, so I knew that it would probably be because it doesn't feel like I'd be able to touch any uh, touch two plates <laughs> in this shirt, but I knew that I was told that it stretched easier, you know, so it was easier to move in than and you would think and and um and so uh with that in mind, I just throw the two plates on because I really haven't had that much even in my hands in a long time. And sure enough, it was, you know, you know, you get set and it was easy to bring down. Um, I didn't touch, I didn't really fight to touch, um, but I came, you know, close within an inch or two and it just popped right back up. So felt good. The most important thing is I did not feel a single thing in my shoulder. Now we're talking, I have some, some pretty major issues with my shoulders now and to feel no pain whatsoever, it was just mind blowing to me. So, um, go big or go home. I just said, let's just jump a whole plate, put a plate on each side. So I went three plates and again, I did it for two. I didn't touch the first one and then just decided to stop being a wuss and, uh, you know, pulled it in for the second one and both times popped. It just pops right back up. And again, n absolutely no pain, no pain. And that's the most important thing. So I stopped there because I kind of 
jumped into this late in the game. Everybody was pretty much finished. So next week, I'm going to actually get my shit together a little earlier so that I can try this out and see exactly what I can do in it. I am pretty excited. So um, if you would like to look into these shirts, um, you know, like if you have this notion that maybe you want to lift more than you do right now, <laughs> um, it's uh, they're made by Rob Farrell. F8 Customs is the name, and that's actually the Instagram handle. So if you go to F8 uh, F8 Customs on Instagram, uh, take a look at some stuff going on. Uh, just, you know, some maybe the videos that they have up. Uh, just shoot them some questions. Um, but I, you know, if you're if you do if you do use equipment, I would suggest that you just check it out. You know, if you're one of those people that kind of like is up on whatever the newest thing is, and or you like to try everything out and see what you like best, I do suggest that you give it a try. It's a little easier to get into going from raw to equipped as well because, um, you know, definitely with uh, with like poly, and I don't think anyone uses canvas shirts anymore. But like with the poly, the uh, um, is not as it doesn't stretch as much it's not as forgiving you really have to fight with the support of the shirt and the support of these banded shirts are a lot easier to work with and again i mean just no shoulder pain whatsoever it just blows my mind all day i've been thinking about it so um f8 customs i would suggest that you go ahead and check them out uh and i will let you know what happens next week when i try it like full blown full speed ahead <laughs> and uh um if you have any questions for me uh you can message me on my instagram at uh, boss.bitch.x and or you can shoot me some comments a question in the comments here uh subscribe so you don't miss any of the episodes and um feel free to share uh with your friends and um thank you for hanging out with me and i will talk to you soon Bye.